Welcome to Christchurch Thornton on this Wednesday evening for our 6 p.m. nightly prayer for the nation. Wherever you are tonight, welcome and thank you for joining me in prayer tonight. We come before a God who is loving and kind and loves to hear and to answer our prayers. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Loving Father God, be with us in our distress, with our families, friends and neighbours, our country and our world. Give health to the sick, hope to the fearful, and comfort to the mourners. Give wisdom to our frontline and key workers, insight to our government, and patience to us all. Overcome disease with the power of your new life, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight, our focus of prayer is for the economic well-being of our society, for businesses, and for employment. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you that you are the provider and the one who knows everything. You know the pressures on our financial system, on our economy, on the workforce, on job opportunities. You know all the solutions and what will help society. So we come before you asking for you to bless the United Kingdom, to bless the world, and not just our own nation, especially those parts of the world which are really poor and which really struggle. We especially pray, Lord, where the basic things of food and clean water are a challenge. Help us, Lord, not to forget about those people. And please, Lord, intervene and provide whatever is needed to change those circumstances. But Lord, tonight we do bring before you our local economy here in Thornton and the Foul Coast. And we pray, Lord, that you'll bless local leaders who make decisions. That you'll bless businesses, especially small businesses, family-owned businesses, which are crucial. We thank you for them and pray that as they reopen and come out of this pandemic, back into a more normal way of operating, that Lord, you'll help them rebuild and their customers will come back. And we pray, Lord, for new employment opportunities in local businesses, that they will flourish and more local people can find local work. We thank you too, Lord, for the big employees in our area, and we pray that they will constantly have new opportunities for local people to work. We recognize, Lord, that across the country there are many job opportunities and often just not the right people um, with the right skills so we pray Lord that you'll also help our local people to, to have the skills to have the opportunity to have training to have the opportunity to learn the skills that are needed to take on new employment so please Lord be the helper of those who are looking for work please match up a job with local need we pray Lord especially for any who do struggle financially, perhaps struggle to pay bills, pay the mortgage, pay the rent. And we pray, especially for families with children, and pray that you'll bless the work of our food pantry and many other initiatives like that in our area. And that, Lord, our food will get to those who most need it. And Lord, tonight we come as well to pray for the world at war with each other. We're conscious of the challenges in Israel, in between um, terrorist groups, between Lebanon and the the struggles, Lord, in the Middle East and the tension between neighboring nations. We ask, Lord, that you'll bring peace and that, Lord Jesus, King of the Jews, King of kings and Lord of lords, that you will be the Prince of Peace in that part of the world. Intervene, we pray. Bring stability and conversation, friendship, love and peace. We ask all these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Our special prayer for this day and for this week is our collect. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Savior Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We close our prayers with the prayer which Jesus himself taught us to pray in the words of the Lord's Prayer, which we'll say tonight in traditional form. Wherever you are, please join with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight. Good night, and God bless.